Hey everybody! Happy New Year! Welcome to my channel. I am Iris Siriani and I am here to do your monthly love guided guidance readings. And I read cards intuitively so that I can receive messages from the cards that are for you for your highest good. Please keep in mind that these are all general readings, so some things may not apply to you or may not resonate with you, and that is totally cool. If you are interested in receiving a private reading that is specifically for you, I have left all of the details of how to contact me uh, below this video. So be, let's get started right away. First up is Capricorn. So Capricorn, I'm just going to start with pulling the general kind of what's going on for you this January, January 2019. It's a brand new year, um, time for new starts. And one card has come out uh, and breathe. Breathe is your overall message this month, Capricorn. Breathe. Remember that sometimes we get so wrapped up in our day-to-day -day lives and so much in our heads and all of the things that we want to accomplish and um, specifically, you know, around attracting love and, and being in that loving space and that loving energy that we sometimes forget to just stop and relax and just breathe. There's no reason to, to panic if you haven't found the love of your life. There's no reason to panic if you are not in your ideal relationship. It's all okay. You are where you are and where you are is okay because if it's not where you want to be, just know and trust that there are better things coming for you, but you just need to slow down, just breathe and just be still. So that is the overall energy for you this month in January. It's just to remind yourself to take a breather, take the load off, don't be so hard on yourself. So the decks that I'm gonna be using today, I'll just uh, show them to you. Here's it. Here we go. Um, Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed And then my beautiful fairy, tarot card deck that I absolutely love, love, love. And finally, we're going to be drawing um, one uh, guidance card from Quan Yin Oracle Cards. And these are absolutely beautiful and divine messages. So let's get started with your reading. I'm just going to do the shuffle and see what cards are coming out. Two of them fought, fell out for you already. Oh, and we'll do one. There's another one. Okay, let's see what we got here. So for you, oh, wonderful. We have the King of Winter, Life Experience, and Princess of Summer. These are all representing your past energy. So up until then, let me just tune in to these cards for a moment. King of Winter, Life Experience, and Princess of Summer. Hmm. It looks like with this King of Winter, you may have found yourself in some unemotional or less than ideal um, relationships that perhaps aren't supporting you the way you want to emotionally. Perhaps you are not getting everything that you want and need in the relationships. So I get an, a sense that perhaps some of you may have been seeking out a counselor in the past, uh, maybe, you know, in the last last year in 2018 and perhaps looking for for some guidance on how to have more personal fulfillment and more personal joy not only in your relationship but I'm getting a sense that you're also you're also wanting that deep fulfillment you want to feel that within yourself 
Um, and I think that the thing that might be holding you back a little bit is your belief systems because I think that you're really wanting to have new life experiences, whether it's in your current relationship or whether it's just in your own personal life. You're looking for more and deeper uh, spiritual growth even perhaps and, um, and want that deeper connection and have those deeper uh, life experiences for yourself. And then the principal, uh, sorry, principal, the princess of summer, um, you know, is, has been encouraging you and you may have, have been feeling this draw that perhaps you want to be more social in your life. You want to have, to have those deeper connections, have that, um, that deeper experience for yourself and have more fun and have a more emotionally fulfilling relationship. And I think that you have been wanting to have more of a, hmm, a, a connectedness, but not just, not just in a romantic self, but a connectedness with um, people that are more in line with who you are, what you believe, what you want um, as a way of being more self um, expressive. So that is, that's kind of what I'm getting from your past. So last year and towards the end of 2018, you know, you're really feeling that unsettledness of, of wanting have a deeper level of satisfaction and fulfillment in your life. And that could be, you know, if you're single or even if you're in a relationship. So that, that was, those are your past messages and, you know, where all of that has gotten you. Oops, here we go. Is, um, oh, you're dreaming. You're dreaming of better things to come. New starts, you know, this, the dreamer here. This is, this is your current, this is your current reality. You are now at that place where you're dreaming of, of more things to come, beautiful things. You've got hopes and dreams and wishes, not just in your romantic life, but also in your personal life and the things that you want to uh, create for yourselves and the way you want to show up in the world and you know you have passions and dreams maybe you you know you have creative and artistic um, talents and um, you know you've kind of been shelving them there's that that sense of um, restlessness that something is dying to kind of come forth and you've just kind of been holding yourself back and with this eight of autumn um, it could be that you are looking to do some training maybe go back to school. Maybe you are not the one going back to school, but maybe you are the one that is going to be doing some teaching for, you know, for other people. Maybe you, um, maybe you want to get out and do some public speaking. Maybe you want to start a YouTube channel and actually inspire other people as well in, in your own new, unique way and um, using your talents. Whatever that happens to be, um, these, this card is saying like, go for it, go and do that. Either go back to school, start that YouTube channel, start that, um, start that new business, start that new creative adventure that you have been, you know, thinking about because, um, you know, as, as always, you know, we start out a, a new year. So let's say 2018, you started out 2018 and you probably had some ideas of what it is that you wanted to do and what you wanted to create for yourself. And you start and you go kind of gung ho for a little while um, and you're inspired. But then as the year goes on, perhaps, you know, life just kind of engulfed you and you kind of lost your way. But for some of you too, I think that you actually did do some things for yourself and you changed some things in your life. And now it's just the next step um, of, of taking it one step further. So at the towards the end of the year, 
all of those thoughts and ideas start to percolate in our mind and, and, and we want to start taking action again. So this here in your current state with you being the dreamer and you wanting to go and fulfill um, more of a, a deeper sense of self, if that makes sense to you, this is a good, a good time to do that. So do what you need to, um, to be inspired and listen to the things that inspire you and encourage you. And this one here is there is no, this is the Prince of Spring and there really isn't any challenge that you can't overcome. Um, you are good enough right where you are. You are smart enough right where you are with, with what you know today. If you have that inclination to go back to school, do it. If you have that inclination to start that new business, um, go to that new country, start traveling, start, maybe it's travel blogging that you want to do. Um, just do it and know that you have the strength to overcome any of the challenges that you may encounter. And um, all you need to do is just put one step in front of the other because all of those little steps add up to massive changes and massive success. So for January, you are really headed in a really great direction. You know, this this whole fulfillment, um, unfulfillment, and this restlessness that you've been feeling, a restlessness in your relationship, whether that is you being in that relationship and not having a sense of, of fulfillment and satisfaction, or you being single and not having that sense of um, satisfaction and fulfillment um, is because you're not honoring that voice inside yourself is is what I'm hearing and really what needs to happen is um, when you follow your own heart and your own aspirations and your own the ideas that you have in your within yourself you actually create, um, you, you put the focus more on yourself um, in creating your own internal happiness rather than looking for somebody externally to create your happiness, your fulfillment, and your satisfaction. I hope that makes sense. So um, it's the inner work, you know, that restlessness that you're feeling that is you have you you're tapping back in to that source of in inspiration and um and by breathing into that and listening to that and honoring that um you're going to find that that purpose and that fulfillment and that satisfaction within yourself and that actually if you are in a relationship um, you're that's when you find that your relationships actually change and the energy in your relationships change and you know that's if you're in a relationship and if you are single the more you can find fulfillment and satisfaction within yourself, um, the more you show up as yourself, the more you trust yourself, and the more you are going to attract people who are drawn to that energy of your own inner fulfillment and satisfaction. So I'm going to pull three more cards that are your next steps to um, doing what you need to do to create that inner satisfaction and fulfillment and get you on your way this January. So we have the six of spring and I'll just pull two more for you. Let's see what comes out here. Ah, two more for Capricorn, two more up, oh, there we go. And oh, we've got the world. I love this card, the world. 
and one more, and then we'll go into um, explaining the messages here. One more for Capricorn. Come on, one more for Capricorn. There we go. Okay, and the six of winter, right? All right, here we go. So let's have a look. You've got the six of spring, the world, and the six of winter. These cards, what they what they speak of is, you know, this this here is um, the six of spring. And you see how she is on her horse. She is confident. She's like an empress. And she is, she has a, a definite purpose, an idea. And, you know, this is almost like the delivery of some really good news coming your way. When you take um, any type of action towards expanding yourself, um, expanding your awareness, expanding your dreams, expanding your, um, your confidence. It creates all of that level of confidence. And just as you move through January, remember that there is good news coming your way. Good things start to happen for you. You show up in your life with uh, more confidence and um, and delivering whatever message you have or receiving whatever messages that you have. Um, when you, it's almost like she is, she's a queen or king. This is, this is not gender specific, but it's like being the king or queen of your life, being the leader in your own life because you really have, um, you, you know, the potential for a lot of success. Like really the world is your oyster in 2019, 2018 for a lot of people were not very good in, in, in their life. You know, we, we suffered a lot of loss. I experienced loss this past year and, um, in more ways, you know, in, in financial ways. Um, I had a few trip ups in my relationship financially, you know, things just went, went all haywire. And, you know, in as much as we think that, um, these things that are happening in our lives are bad things that are happening to us they're actually not happening to us they're actually happening for us so that we can clear away things that just don't work um, old belief systems that that we have about who we are and how we need to show up in the world um, they um, they need to be stripped away so that we have the world in the palm of our hand. And when we are more true to ourselves and we fulfill that inner, inner um, desire to, to have, to be, to do, to have, whatever makes us feel good, and we follow that, the world is in our hands. It's, you know, it's like the oyster. Um, and then we create positive changes. And this is really important. You know, here we have the six of winter. We've got a lot of sixes. Uh, do we have a lot of sixes? No, we actually, we don't have a lot of sixes. But positive changes are, are coming up, you know. So if you have been struggling in your love life, I think the overall message here with, with these three cards is look towards your your own inner self and how you express yourself. Take away that need to, to do so much and look outwardly for personal enjoyment and personal fulfillment and personal satisfaction because any, any partner that you have in your life is not going to be able to satisfy that innerness that that is gnawing away at you, so to speak. If that makes makes sense. So as you move through January, you know, just remember, just take a step back and just listen 
to your own heart and take action on the things that you are drawn to doing, whatever that happens to be. Um, step out of trying to focus on a partner who isn't meeting your needs or stop focusing on the partner that isn't there, hasn't shown up for you yet, um, and thinking that he is going, he or she is going to be able to fulfill your emotional needs and really focus on, where is she again? This six of spring of being the boss of yourself and taking ownership and responsibility for your own heart and finding that deep fulfillment and satisfaction within your own heart. Um, and this is ultimately what is going to turn the energy around for you to have more love uh, come in to your life. So now I want to pull from uh, the Kuan Yin Oracle card, and these are um, blessings, guidance, and enlightenment from the Divine Feminine. So let's see what divine message they have for Capricorn in January 2019. There we go. Ah, the Book of Changes. This reading for you really is all about changes. And actually for this one, I am going to read from the book, The Book of Changes. And that is card 35. 35. Oh, almost one more here. There we go. Just like a beautiful but unusual melody, the divine plan is unfolding through your life, although it isn't always predictable. Kuan Yin is guiding you in the right direction. Even if you do not fully understand what is happening in your life right now, allow Kuan Yin to bless you with trust in the unfoldment of your own divine path. The book of changes is always at play, helping us find our way. You are not just a smarter person, uh, oh, you are just taking a smarter route to your own destination. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sometimes situations or circumstances occur that seem to take us away from our destined goal or cause us to question whether we need to take matters into our own hands to achieve our des desired manifestation. Even if we do not understand why something is happening the way that it is right now, with patience and experience, the wisdom and helpfulness of a situation is often revealed and we can marvel at how we were assisted through the workings of a higher intelligence that we did not understand at the time. So this really speaks to this breathe card. When we stop and slow down and just breathe, we are able to actually tap in to more of um, our own internal guidance um, and higher intelligence that are going to lead us on to um, our highest path and move us forward. So just like an experienced guide on a mountaintop, Kuan Yin has traversed the spiritual path over many lifetimes to arrive at her enlightened and compassionate state. She is very wise and she is blessing you with her grace, even if that grace seems to be a dark cloud. A delay, an unexpected disappointment, or even a wonderful new opportunity in a different direction. She can help you avoid pitfalls that you do not need to encounter if you trust in her guidance. And when you trust in her guidance, you're actually trusting in your own guidance. And that is the way to your own personal fulfillment and satisfaction. She can read the book of changes and understand the divine plan unfolding through you to help you lift you on your divine path with the least struggle. You are being asked to trust and allow the circumstances in your life to unfold right now. 
If there are delays, don't force an issue. Remember, just breathe and relax. Let it settle and sort itself out with as little interference by you as possible. Don't we love to control everything? Okay, where was that? Where was it? There I was. Okay. You do not have to let anyone take advantage of you, nor do you have to prevent yourself from expressing your truths and feelings about whatever is happening. However, you are being guided to trust that no matter what appears to be the case right now, this detour or unexpected situation is a blessing from the divine plan, confirmed by Kuan Yin, assisting you in avoiding unnecessary problems later on as she corrects your life direction and helps you move forward with a greater grace on your divine path. Now, that is just an absolutely beautiful message and I hope that that resonates with you. Whatever is transpiring in your life, wherever that lack of fulfillment, lack of enjoyment, lack of satisfaction, um, that, that wanting, that need, that burning desire for something better, whatever that dark cloud is that's hanging over your head, trust yourself that once you let go, start to breathe in to yourself and trust that you have everything that you need to follow a new path for yourself that is going to eventually lead you to more um, happiness and fulfillment in your life. Those are the messages that I have for you for January 2019. Capricorn, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, if something I've said has resonated with you, I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell as well so that you'll be notified when I post a new video. Also, if you like, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Iris Seriani. Until next time, bye and have a most amazing January.